Hi everybody, we've just had the very, very exciting news that we've now got the firm date for update 1.23 coming to PlayStation, Xbox and PC and that will be November the 7th in approximately a week's time from me recording this video. And if you're wondering, as a, as a server owner, oh my gosh, I've got so many things to do, so many things I need to find out, what I've got to do, where do I get the files, how do I update data stuff, don't worry, I have your back because I've been a busy bee and I have made all of my usual files and more and my usual tutorials and they're all available now so in the description below this video there'll be a long list of all of them and i'm going to go through them next as well just bear in mind that when it comes to doing the changes changes won't work until your server has 1.23 unless of course you've got an xbox sorry unless of course you've got a pc experimental server running in the cloud or running on your local pc so first off let's get started where can you get the new 1.23 files. So I've done a video with a tutorial that shows you how to get them. You do need to own Daisy on PC for that one, but that way you can start working on the files in advance. Next thing, how do you know if your Daisy community server has been updated to 1.23? So this will be for the release day. Um, and then how do you update the mission files as well? So I've got a nice tutorial that walks you through how to check whether your server has been updated, and then you'll need to update the mission files. It doesn't happen automatically. And by mission files, I mean things like your types to XML. So if you want the new stuff, if you want the new M14 DMR, you'll need to know how to update the mission files as well. Now, you'll probably already know that Daisy uh, Bohemia Interactive, the devs, are recommending you do a soft wipe on your server. Now, the reason for this is because at the Northwest Airfield, there's been some significant changes. And so if you don't do a soft wipe, you're going to end up with all this loot that's hanging around in the air. Not great for immersion. Now, you don't have to do it but it's kind of recommended. So again, you'll find a link to a tutorial I've done how to do a soft wipe. Next up, you'll be thinking, right, that's cool. What about the boosted loot files for my server? Or, no worries, I've created my boosted loot churnerous files updated to 1.23. If, um, if you want to run a server that's easier for beginners where things spawn in pristine, there's more food, there's more drinks, there's weapons with mags and suppressors, complete vehicles all that sort of stuff for a more adventure themed daisy then check out the tutorial and you can download the files from my github repository as well and i've done my boosted loot livonia files as well so if you prefer playing on that map we've got the boosted loot files for that also if you're thinking i don't want boosted loot rob i want harder daisy i've updated my hardcore survival files as well now i've only done these for chernerus Basically, this gives you half food and drink, gives you a colder map, gives you less, 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 and even even more less of lots of stuff. So if you want a difficult experience, you should check out the tutorial video, and then you can go, to, you can go over to my GitHub, and you can download the relevant XMLs. Really easy to install. I um, recommend, again, if you're new to server modding, use these preset files. They're very, very easy to use. Next thing you might say, well, wait a minute, Rob, I'm on PC and on my server, we have the Dr. Jones Trader. Um, what about the new things that are in it? How can I update my config file? Well, I've got a lit little tutorial on how to do it. Then over on my GitHub, I've got a up-to-date trader config, which has the latest 1.23 stuff in, or it should have it. And, most of, and then all the vanilla stuff as well. And also, I've got the snippets as well of the stuff that will be there so that you can go through. And if you've got a custom trader config, you can just add the new stuff in nice and easily. Now, you may also be saying, well, wait a minute, with 1.23, don't we now have the ability to edit fresh new player spawns uh, console, the gear that people spawn in with? We do. So... <laughs> I've done a two tutorials about this. The first one adds a simple, uh, I call it vanilla plus, where you're just getting a little bit more food, you know, some medicine, a knife, and a map. Um, and there's a tutorial, and then over my GitHub, there's the relevant files that you can use. But if you say, actually, I tell you what, I want military stuff. I'm creating a deathmatch server where I want my players to spawn in with weapons. I've also got another tutorial where your players will then spawn in with a DMR or an AK um, and various random equipment as well. So there's a tutorial how to do it and there's the GitHub repository with the relevant files as well. Um, then you're thinking, okay, great. I tell you what though, I want to spawn in 
more of and I want to spawn in the uh, M14 DMR complete with mags and scopes so again I've got a tutorial that shows you how to alter your CFG spawnable types that XML for PC PlayStation or console so that you can have complete M14s and I've also done a tutorial on how to add more of them so if you want more of this excellent weapon um, and more of the mags as well there's a little tutorial that shows you how to do that and then you might say well I've read the patch notes and can't you we now like stop players from um, just respawning when unconscious so that they die um, or they can't not respawn sorry when they're unconscious so they have to wake up yes we could do that and I've got a tutorial on how to do that you may also say well wait a minute isn't there also um, an ability now to stop players building in the underground bunker well that's set on as default um, in the Livonia files but if you want to change that then I've done a tutorial on how to do that as well so there we go quite a few files to go through um, hopefully they'll help you out um, and if you need to know anything else then obviously let me know now once 1.23 is out on public after the 7th I will be doing other files like um, deathmatch server files which include the changes to the loadouts and changes to player spawn locations but I thought we'd just wait for release and see if they do any more changes also remember I am but human if there's any errors in these files please let me know put um, comments in the comment section below the videos and then I can adjust them as well so there we go hopefully you find these useful if you have you can like this video of course you can subscribe and I'll see you all again soon